Howdy folks, my name is Damon from RC Scale Models and today we're back with you with another kit. Today we're going to take a look at something a little bit different. Something that I wouldn't thought I'd ever do is some form of submarine or ship type subject. But I have changed my mind, I'm going to delve into this. So I'm going to start with what we call a mini diorama type piece, which is made by Border Models. It's 135 scale and what they've done is made a top end of the submarine exactly what you see on the box so we get small section of the actual submarine and the conning tower and whatever they give you extra figures which you can buy separately to do your scene there's two options you can buy the gun set which you see here or there's another set which i put on the screen which is them loading a torpedo i've gone for this set so let's get into this one the kit as i say is border models and it's a type 7C U-Boat Diorama type piece. So what we get inside this box is quite a large box for what it is. It's just about getting this in camera and it takes up quite a large of my bench. So as usual, cab, cab, cab in images. Like I say, you can do it two ways. Here, here is for the torpedo loading, and you can get the crew for that separately. Or well, you got this one here, which is for the uh, gun option, which you see on the box as well, and that's the one I'm going to be doing, which is this one here. Um, paint schemes. So we have three schemes. We have this one with the uh, camo stripes, and we have two grey versions. And obviously, the only difference is the. Uh, slight markings on the front I do like this one but it all depends what I come across so these are all 1942 so and uh, Mediterranean uh, not sure where that is can't really say, pronounce that but uh, not, not North Pacific um, Uh, kit uh, item would be B, uh, BS001 135 scale border models. So it's a very big box loaded with plastic. So here's the parts your conning tower and, and whatever. Uh, here's the conning tower floor. Here's the torpedo. Obviously, uh, they give you that option, but I'm not doing that option. We have more parts. This is some form of tubing. I'm not sure what that is. The hatches, boxes, detail parts, instructions. This box here is protecting all your uh, handles and framing. Here is your conning tower segments. More detail parts, and now this is the big diorama piece basically, and it's all molded in one large piece. Impressive how they managed to get this out of the mold. It's quite sturdy, very thick plastic. Let's take a closer look. So, like I mentioned before, here is that diorama piece. Very nicely sharp and crisp detail. So basically it is up to waterline level basically. Um, so it's just the uh, conning tower section. Um, nice detail all over the floor. This is all raised. This is where the gun goes. This section here at the front is where the torpedo gets loaded into. Obviously I'm not doing that so there'll be a hatch over there. You've got hatches here. Your conning tower sits all in here. So also we've got detail parts to add to these holes. There's another hatch here. Your railings all down the side. So this is up, up to water line. So you could make a mini diorama, add water effects up to the water line. You could even make this a, a dockside scene even, like a, uh, was it the uh, submarine bunkers? Um, so it'd be a, a, a walkway or the side of the uh, dock crew loading up some um, vehicles maybe 
it is 135 scale so it all's going to blend in with your vehicles and everything so it fits that scale so and this is from quite a good size um, now here are the parts normally I go straight into instructions but I'm going to change it up slightly So the next large section would be your conning tower, which is pretty cool. So again, impressive moulding, how to get this out, out, this, out the mould, two halves basically. Um, there is a little bit of internal detail, which is here and here, which is basically like wood planking. I'm not sure what it's for. And now... This is all raised detail. So very nice, hefty and quite weighty. In this small bag, we got small detail parts. Now in here is carefully which has some of the uh, framing so this is a frame for around the conning tower and your railings and stuff so just be super careful getting it off the sprue because it is fragile Impressive how they get this out of the mould. Some weird shapes. If you're planning on getting this kit, I'd, I'd, I highly recommend you get the kit early. Uh, so you're less likely to have damage because the longer you leave it, the more it gets shipped around the country or wherever, the more damage you most likely it's going to occur to the kit. So in this section here, we've got two screws the same. So this would be hatches, detail parts, we've got some shells, I also imagine this would be your, your gun or would it be like a giant cannon or some sort, I'm not sure what type of gun it is, so I imagine the instructions should tell us. So here's your hatches, not sure what this long piece is, maybe another railing, some kind of chain link, I think this is for some of the cable, which is nice they've added that but when it comes to look at the box, there isn't enough length for your cable to uh, sit, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, the life vest or life ring. Grab handles. Hatch the uh, handles for the hatches, I imagine. They're probably on the inside. I'm not sure if there is detail. Bends. A box of some sort. Probably for the shells. Here are those shells moulded as one piece. So that's nicely done. So this section here on the sprue, we have this piece again, I'm not sure, until we look at instructions. Uh, some form of walkway, again, not sure what this is. It must be, might be a, I don't, actually, I don't know. But it is nicely moulded. Again, a weird way of getting it out of the mould. Some weird shapes. So this sprue here is the uh, conning tower floor. And it is some form of diamond plating and texture. For anti-slip, I imagine. Actually, it's not diamond plated, it's squares. But it is nicely moulded. Here's the torpedo, uh, I think this might be torpedo tube maybe, I'm not sure, or the tool we to go into, not sure what this is, or any of this, this looks like binoculars, some more railings, so, nice torpedo, again I'm not type of sure what type of torpedo it is, 
Here's the floor. These parts. These parts. This might actually be with the periscope section, I think, maybe. I'm not sure. There's some of that wood grain effect again. Again, I'm not sure what it's for. Actually, that's slide molded there as well, all along here. We have railings again. Impressive, nice. Um, this is the last screw. So we have more conning tower, I should imagine. It's probably would it be hatches? I'm not sure. Let's go in there. Some of this I don't know what this is, or any of this. No idea what that is. Looks like a radar maybe. I've no idea. Um, and there's detail parts in general. So I, I'm not. I don't build boats or submarines or ships or anything. So I have no idea what I'm looking at. Uh, is impressive. There's like the, the uh, props for torpedo, maybe. Some more detail parts. We have a ladder. I have no idea what that is. Or any of this. Or those circles. Or any of those. Or this funny thing on a pole with a circle. But it is nicely done. And we take a look at instructions. So now these are the instructions. So on the front it shows the two sets of figures which you can buy. Your one crew loading the torpedo and the second manning the, the gun, which is the one I have. Which I will show you towards the end. They are resin. They are a little bit pricey. You don't even have to buy them at all. You can just buy the, uh, the actual submarine section. So it's glossy paper, very shiny, so um, sprues as normal, there is some decals of fellow etch, which is over here actually. And so the very first section is, as I say this is moulded as one large piece so you haven't got to worry about that. What I could see that doesn't require any clean up. Um, this is that funny looking piece which goes on the inside and up. So. Some form of some form of funnel. Again, I'm still not 100% sure what it does or what it is. Anything I'm, I'm missing, feel free to let me know because, as I say, I'm really not sure what I'm, I'm looking at. And if I explain something or say something is completely wrong, I apologise because I don't know what I'm looking at or what it is. These look like hatches to me. Um, this is that segment to go over the front where the torpedo goes into, so it, it's optional. I'm having one closed up. These are those parts on top for the handles, which is in Fadowich. I um, must imagine you can get them in plastic, but they're calling out Fadowich ones. I think that'll look better in scale anyway, so that's not too difficult to do. Now, conning tower, again, these big large segments are, are one piece, and then we've got these detail parts to add to the sides. Again, this is wood. I don't know why there's wood there, no idea. Here's the conning tower floor, another hatch. I just imagine you can have it open or closed, is your call. Um, then it's the floor and the conning tower going together. There's that giant horseshoe shaped piece that's going on around the conning tower, according to them. Then we have this segment here. Which is two halves, and then this piece, and then we got dials of some sort. So this is that segment again, and then we have this piece and this piece in the ladder, which goes up on the inside. So this must be to do the uh, periscope section, maybe. Again, I'm not sure. And then the coin tail will go in over the top of it. So this is internal detail of some, some kind, but like I say, I'm, I'm still I'm not 100% sure what it is. Here we have some handles, some funny look shaped boxes. I don't know again, I don't know what they are. 
and then we have looks like little steps I'm not sure detail parts on the side this funny looking shape piece on the stick with the ring again I'm not sure what that is it may be some form of antenna and we have this part as well is that antenna or is that part of this periscope again I'm not sure what we're looking at but it is two halves and one piece and then we have this piece around it and then the railings uh, this piece sticks out the front which is a flag can hang off uh, which I have seen which hangs off the railing again if you're going to get a flag for this it's, you have to buy it separately don't think it comes in the kit more hat railings and then your life ring repeating the other side exactly the same and then we have this piece again again I'm not sure what I'm looking at but it is two halves we have the center piece these funny looking circles going around it grab handles is this the periscope I'm not sure it does the state to get this effect you're going to need to use wire and wrap it around I just imagine maybe that's what that copper wire is for because it does say copper wire so I just imagine that's what that's for now this section here is to build up the uh, gun so you have the uh, plate, the actual upper section of the gun, which should be uh, to hold the gun in place, the framing of some sort. Um, and then the actual gun itself, is it is it a cannon? I'm not sure what type of gun they've used. Um, so that gets assembled, the uh, ammunition coming in, the magazine, building this up. Um, this looks like some form of shield around the gun as well. And then, oh, this is the smaller gun actually, come to think of it. This sits on top of the uh, conning tower. And then we've got that funny looking piece and then the other one. So one of these is periscopes, I think, your gun, and the other one I don't know. Conning tower going down once it's complete. Sliding over that tube. Again, I don't know what that tube's for. Now this is the main gun on the uh, ship, submarine. Um, again, I don't know what type of cannon they're using. So we have the barrel, breech, that kind of thing as it gets built up. So nicely done. More details for the actual gun itself around the breech, handles, levers, that kind of thing. So that's a little model in itself, just alone. That's nicely detailed. So this section here and this section not too bad, but this is going to take a little bit of work and time. And then the other option is for the torpedo loading. So this is some form of uh, like ramp. That's what that piece is for. I thought it was something else. Again don't need this I won't be using that so that's be in your spares box um, again I might actually not glue this segment in, in the front I might just leave it as a dry fit and I might build this but keep it separately so I could swap it out if I want to change it and obviously I might have to buy those separate figures we shall see two halves for a torpedo pretty standard I just imagine aftermarket resin ones to come out uh, and stuff like that so you don't have to worry about the seam because you will have to take care of that seam we have a light going in as well which is here which is on the conning tower torpedo option and here's railings going in more railings some more railings this is the torpedo version and then your paint schemes so we have this one again 1942 Mediterranean which has the camouflage which is nice which should be grey and dark grey they're calling out for ammo by Ming colours so if you're not using those paints which I don't have I'm going to have to revert to finding out what type of colour it is all grey version which is a little bit boring maybe different markings on the front we have this uh, 
swordfish type symbol. And that's what it looks like to me. It's like a cartoon swordfish. Pretty cool markings. And then the other submarine, 1942 North Atlantic, the grey, and it has the little devil symbol. Um, yeah, but pretty cool. So, weathering, painting, having this all effect on, on your ship, rust stains, streaking, it's all going to come in play. You can make this a nice little pretty, pretty diorama. Um, this is what I was worried about this cable going up the back and the front of the ship. Um, they give you, I think, they give you the um, turnbuckle thing for it, but. There isn't enough length for the uh, submarine for these to go on, so I'm not sure how you're going to do that. You can do the railings here, the middle section, but then at the back of the ship it continues, but again it's not going to reach because there isn't enough submarine, so I don't know what you're going to do. Here is the decals. So here's the photo etching decals. You get a piece of metal copper wire, I just imagine there was four wrapping around that antenna. Here's your photo etch parts, try and keep these as flat as possible. I'm not bending them up too much, these are slightly bent, hopefully they're not too bad. And then your basic markings, so there's that swordfish, devil and the shield. Make sure I get it the right way up. Oh, pretty cool. And now the last little kit is the uh, figures. That's all of them. So you've got your six crew members. Nicely packaged in these little boxes. And little bags. Again, I'm not a figure painter, but I have bought these because I want to learn, and I think it just makes the scene much better when it's, when it's going to be done. So here are the figures moulded in plastic. So, sorry, not plastic, um, resin. We have locating square tabs for the arms and head locations. Um, again, this is one of the crew members. I'm not sure who, who I'm looking at. It doesn't actually say. There's no instructions. There's no colour callouts neither for what your crew should be. These are the hands and head. So here's another crew member with a slight lean. Um, just trying to work out which one he which one he he is. He possibly could be the guy loading the shells. Again, square locating tabs for head and arms, and he has a life vest on. Hands. And face. Pretty cool. Figure number two. Figure number three. This guy is at the side of the gun. I'm not sure what he's doing. Again, square locating tabs for your head and arms. Nicely done. Face and hands and arms. Figure number three. This figure number four is a commander. So he's got his uh, commander uniform. Nicely moulded. Again, the same locating tabs as before. And there's his hands, binoculars, and his face.
number five figure is another normal crew member again I'm not sure what he's doing hands face and arms he's got his hand clenched so he must be holding something Last, so last figure, second commander. So is there one main commander and second guy in charge? I'm not sure what the ranks are. Uh, beat was it captain or what? But they're saying commander on the, on the box, so I'm not sure. Yeah, nicely molded. These uh, goggles, hands, and face. Trying to get it in camera so you can see. This guy's got a beard. So, yeah, nicely done. So, there you are, my friends. A beautiful kit from Broad Models as always, nice crisp detail. As I say, it's something that I wasn't planning to ever do, but I'm going to delve into doing small segments of boats and stuff. I'm not going to probably ever plan on doing a big boat. Could change my mind on that, but um, I'm going to do like th these small submarines and I'm going to do some of the turrets that have been released. So check them out when they get when I get my hands on some of them and I do a review on them. So this is on the... Uh, Submarine, diorama type piece, like, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you next time.